This is Fedora 28 with the XFCE desktop. I have it installed on an external hard drive about two months, three weeks after it was introduced at the beginning of May 2018. At the time, I was using Fedora 27 XFCE spin, and I was going to switch to Fedora 28, but there were some problems with both of them and an apparently defective kernel at the time, so I installed Ubuntu Monte 18.04 on my internal drive and have been using it since. However, I wanted to take another look at Fedora 28 XFCE to see what may have changed in the intervening weeks. Now, this is not the way it came by default. You have a choice with Fedora XFCE of starting with the default layout or with a single blank panel. And I chose to use a single blank panel and I configured it the way I like. And I've shown how to do that many times before with XFCE, so I'm not going to go into the details, but basically I switched the whisker menu around so that the categories are on the left I added a number of launchers, and I added the various items in the system tray. I expanded the verbosity of the date and time a little bit, and added this logout sequence. In the second panel below, I have the Show My Desktop icon. I have window buttons. If you see here, I have Simple Screen Recorder installed and running. And I have a workspace switcher here on the right. There was only one wallpaper essentially available in the XFCE version. If you look under Desktop Settings, and under background, you can see there's really only one, and I'm using a solid color. Now, the way to do that is over here where it says style. Normally, when the wallpaper is enabled, the style will be zoomed, and it looks like that. To use the solid color, what you have to do is you have to eliminate the wallpaper altogether. So under Style, you go to None, and then it shows whatever your background color is. And that defaults to black, but you can choose any color you want, as you can see that I did. One thing I was curious about is what changes have occurred since Fedora 28 was first released. The ISO image I used was the same one that was available at the beginning of May, and it included kernel version 16.3. But as soon as I did the first update, which was, I think, 678 megabytes, it installed kernel version 17.6. So one thing that's upgraded rather frequently is the kernel version. As far as the software, let's take a quick look at that. Under Accessories, you have the Application Finder, Clipman, GNOME Disks, Calculator, Mousepad, Orage, Global Time, Password and Keys, Screenshot, X-Archiver, and XF-Burn. Under Administration, you have DNF Dragora, which is a software manager, and you have the DNF Dragora updater, firewall, keyboard, language, print settings, users, and groups. Under development, you have Gini, which is a text editor favored by people who are writing code. Under graphics, you have the document viewer, I installed GIMP, and it's version 2.8, which is not the latest version. I installed Image Scan for Linux, and I'll have a little more about that later. That's the application used with my Epson scanner. 
I installed LibreCAD, and I installed the entire LibreOffice suite. This is LibreOffice Draw. It came with the Ristretto Image Viewer. Under Internet, it came with Claws Mail. If I were going to use this, I would install Thunderbird. Firefox 61.0.1. It has Pigeon Internet Messenger and Transmission BitTorrent Client. Under Multimedia, it has a Sunder CD Ripper. I installed Caden Live, and it's version 17.12. Not the latest version, but reasonably up to date. I installed MuseScore 2, and this is version 2.2, a little more recent than the one that was available in Ubuntu 18.04, which is 2.1 but not quite the latest, which is version 2.3. It had Parole Media Player, Praha, Music Player, Pulse Audio Volume Control. I installed Simple Screen Recorder, and I got that from the RPM Fusion repositories, which I always install the minute I install any version of Fedora. And from the same source, I got the VLC Media Player, and it came with XF Burn. Under Office, it came with Abbey Word and G Numeric down here. Uh, I installed the complete LibreOffice suite. It also came again with Clause Mail, a dictionary, and a document viewer. The Arage calendar in Raj Global Time. And LibreOffice is version 6.0.5.2, close to the most recent version. Under Settings, it has Accessibility, Appearance, Bluetooth, Kanji Preferences, Desktop, Display, File Manager, Keyboard, MIME Type Editor, Mouse and Touchpad, Network Connections, Notifications, Mirage Preferences, Panel, Power Manager, Preferred Applications, Removable Drives and Media, Screen Saver. By the way, I lengthened this menu, as you can easily do, with the Whisker menu. So it has a Screen Saver, Session, and Startup. Settings Editor, Settings Manager, Window Manager, Window Manager Tweaks, Workspaces, XFCE Panel Switch, XFCE Terminal, and XF Dashboard Settings. That's if you want a GNOME-like appearance. Under System, I installed GNOME Boxes. It came with Bulk Rename, Fedora Release Notes, Gparted, Problem Reporting, SE, Linux, Troubleshooter, Task Manager, Thunar File Manager, XFCE Terminal, and XF Dashboard. Again, that's for a GNOME-like interface. Now let's take a look at GNOME Boxes. It works perfectly with Fedora 28 XFCE. Just to give you an example... This is the installation of Linux Mint 19. So that's a demonstration of GNOME boxes. I mention this only because GNOME Boxes does not work at all in Ubuntu 18.04, at least to my knowledge. They may fix that eventually. I have been able to use VirtualBox in Ubuntu 18.04, but not GNOME Boxes. There were also a couple of other things I wanted to try. One of them was installing my brother printer, and that worked flawlessly. And another was installing Image Scan for Linux, which is the interface with my Epson scanner. 
and that worked flawlessly also. Now, that does work in Ubuntu 1804, but only with a rather complex workaround, which I've covered in another video. So it works better with Fedora than it does with Ubuntu, even though Fedora uses the latest version of the same backends. So after a somewhat rocky start, Fedora 28 seems to be doing quite well, a little less than three months into the cycle. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.